ladies and gentlemen. We're going to follow right behind. Please watch your step. sitting and standing. This is our nation's most hollow grounds. Cemetery symbolizing service, sacrifice, honor, and love. And on today, we come to pay our respects and even celebrate the life of Corporal Russell Glenn Fritz, United States Marine Corps, affectionately known to many as simply Russell. There was a time in our nation's history when our nation put out a call to young men and young women. And Russell answered that call. He answered the call to don the cloth of his nation, put on the uniform, if you will, put himself in harm's way, and to serve his country 
selflessly. I would imagine that's why the newsman Tom Brokaw had referred to Russell's generation as the greatest generation, a generation of young men and young women who served their country because it was the right thing to do. And for that, we say thank you. And I'm told in my conversation with his lovely wife, Grace, that Russell loved the Marine Corps. And anybody who spent any time with the Marines knows they have a special saying of Semper Fidelis, Semper Fi. example of Jesus Christ. You see, Jesus didn't come here to be served, but he came here to serve out of love. The Bible tells us that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him would never perish, but have everlasting life. So when we consider these things, and we consider Russell's life of service, what an awesome example. What an awesome story, how his life and his example can point us to Jesus Christ. A life of true service, true sacrifice, true honor, and true love. And for that, we say thank you. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Dear Lord, it is again we come to you on today just to give you thanks. Thank you for those memories and moments that we've been able to share with Russell and how his life can point us to you. Now, Lord, I'll pray right now that you would keep us all mindful of how precious life is and how it is a gift from you and help us to make the most out of that gift because all of our days are numbered. Now, Lord, we conclude this prayer in the way that you taught your disciples to pray when you said, Our Father, who art in heaven, how be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever and ever. Amen. My friends, family, Whereas death hath much more debated our ranks and removed from the walks of life our beloved brother, Russell. His soul having departed to dwell in the undiscovered country from whose born no traveler returns, it's our duty and honor to commit his remains to their final resting place, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, and our privilege to commit his soul to our maker, father, and redeemer in the confident hope the coming again of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we can ask or even imagine. To God Almighty, the glory, majesty, dominion, and power, now and forevermore. Amen.
Far right, center, hunt. Forward, hunt. 